Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to factor the sum or difference of cubes. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're going to learn this with two problems right here. We're going to use our formulas for the sum or difference of cubes and apply it to one of each. Now, our first polynomial here is x cubed plus a64. Let's see if we can apply our formula. Our first thing we want to do is rewrite this x cubed plus 64 to look like an a cubed plus a b cubed. Now, the first part here is going to be a little pretty simple, actually. Look at x cubed. Well, x cubed, I write it like this, x all to the third power, and we can see that's an a to the, well, third power right here. Our a value would be x. What about 64? Can we rewrite that to be a value cubed? Well, if you don't know, 4 cubed is 64. So we can rewrite this to be 4 cubed, and now we have our b value all cubed. So we can see a is x and b is 4, and now it's a plug and play into our formula. Right first, we have a plus b, so a value is x, plus our b value is 4. And notice we're doing the first formula right here because we have an a squared, a cubed plus a b cubed, right, plus right there. Then keep on going. We have a squared, so we take our x value, which is a, we square it, not too bad, minus an a times a b, so x times a 4 or a 4x, if you will. And lastly, plus a 4 squared, and 4 squared is a 16, but a 16 right there. Again, just so in case you know, that's a 4 squared is that 16. And there we have it. We simplified, we factored our first polynomial, x plus 4 times an x squared minus 4x plus a 16. Now let's go dive into the second polynomial. We have a 27u cubed minus a 25v cubed. And yes, that's my v, just so you know. Same idea, a little more difficult. We have an a cubed minus b cubed, subtraction is going on here. We want to rewrite it in that form. Well, 27, the cube root of 27 is a 3, so we know 3 can go right here. And, well, cube root of u cubed is u. And so 3u all cubed is our, well, a value all cubed. A value being 3u. Again, 3 cubed is 27. u cubed, u cubed. What about the second part right here? We have 125v cubed. What's well, a cube root of 125? That's going to be a 5. Cube root of v is a v right there. And we write it as all cubed. 5 cubed is 125, and v cubed is v cubed. And so we have it in our form, well, a b now all cubed. So we have an a value, 3u, b value of 5v. We can apply our formula, the second one here, a cubed minus b cubed, right there is what we have. So let's keep on going. It tells us to do a minus a b, where a, va a value is a 3u. And our b value is a 5v, so we minus a 5v. Notice again, the subtraction kind of lines up with the first part, but then it switches to addition here, just so you know for memorization purposes. After that, we have a squared, so we want a 3u. Now remember, this is 3u all squared, so we're going to have to simplify in a second, plus an ab, right, so a value is 3u, times a b value, which is 5v, plus, I saw some room here, b squared, our b value being 5v, all squared. So let's go rewrite it all here. I'll slide it over a little. We have a 3u minus 5v, doesn't need to be simplified, but let's go simplify down here. 3u all squared is a 9u squared, right? 3 squared is a 9, plus 3 times 5 is a 15uv. Plus, lastly, 5v all squared, oh, parentheses here, 5v all squared, 5 squared is a 25, and a v squared is a v squared. And so our 27u cubed minus 125v cubed simplifies, 
simplifies using our formula here to be 3u minus 5v times a 9u squared plus a 15uv plus 25v squared. I hope you learned something here on how to factor the sum or difference of cubes. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.